Okay, so I have uh, a very basic template um, chart form that was created back in January. And I think it's like one of their template uh, forms, but let's go ahead and use it. So I'm going to go ahead, go into edit form. And I'm not going to change anything here on the form itself. I'm just going to go to publish and embed copy code. Then I'm going to go over to phone sites and under the settings tab here, I just created a, a template page really quickly. Um, I haven't changed anything with this page. Um, I will in a second. I'll get rid of the, the basic uh, elements that show up on this thank you template page. But for right now, I just want to add in that custom code that I copied from Jawform. So under settings, under the advanced section, you're going to go to custom code and you're going to drop in that embed. I'm going to show you what happens right now. We're going to view this. Okay, there we go. So that's what you see right now. I need to get rid of the uh, the phone site's form. Actually, it's not a form. The phone site's headline, subheadline, um, and then, well, I guess there is the form. It's just that it's not showing the, uh, uh, like the, the name or email or phone fields because those are all turned off. But let's get rid of all of these elements here. And then um, last night I had added in this little snippet of code. So let's go ahead and grab this little snippet of code that I added in my um, quick comment back on this post. So copy that, I'm gonna go back over here to phone sites and I'm just gonna add in my snippet. And I just flattened the code there. By flattening, I mean it was on three lines. I put it all on one line. You don't have to do that. Um, but I do find sometimes uh, when you're putting the, the code into uh, like the design tab, for example, if you put it into a um, text box, sometimes you need to flatten the code a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove this, delete. And we don't need this uh, submit button in here anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Delete, 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 save. And let's go to refresh our page over here. All right, so there you go. So now you just have here in your phone size page um, this jot form, form template that uh, I have created. And then, um, I've actually never really used Jawform. I've only used it just for helping other people out in the phone size community. But I'm guessing within uh, Jawform, you can add in a redirect. That way you can have when they submit, it goes back to some other phone size page or maybe like Facebook business page or um, I don't know, maybe to like Calendly or whatever you're looking to set them up for a redirect. Kind of curious to see where that would be. Or redirect. Right here. It's under settings, and you can either have them uh, show a thank you page, and then that thank you page, see what happens. So my dog is reddish brown. We believe she's about four. She's a rescue. We're not quite sure. Uh, let's see. She's microchips. She, Margot, you don't have a color. Not right now, anyway. She's inside. Um, so I believe she was found in northern Alabama and brought to Massachusetts. Her home. Submit. And so this is what 
what the page will look like because I haven't changed anything on Java form in terms of how this would look. Otherwise, I could put in a redirect.